finement. She either just didn't want any or didn't want the vanilla, didn't like the smell. Let's try some blueberry with it. Sabina? She'll be up on the counter soon. Mm -hmm. Just hang out there. Yeah. Sabina? Route where he got to the bush and gently watching something. Mm -hmm. Sophia. Hey everyone, Seymour came along to say hi to Dr. Emerson and make sure Sophia gets taken care of for her checkup today. Hopefully we'll get good news. And hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye! On the inside. Oh. Is that me? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's okay. <laughs> um. This is all healing up on the inside. That's just where I had the stitches. And some of them had come undone and it's already covered all the bone. Okay. It looks so good. How Here's much jaw is left? The whole jaw is intact. Because I thought part of the endotoma was coming through the jaw. And it was. So it was... There, okay, I'll draw you a picture of it in a minute. Jesse, you can wake her up. I'll show you in one second. I know there's a medial and a lateral. I just didn't know. Yeah, so you're, you had like about the center third of your medial wall. It was pretty well gone. And then it'll all grow in. The whole lateral oh, wall is there. The bone will come back? It'll grow a big callus over it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Let me get my mouse. And so... So now we've got to compare that upper... This is our existing lower. Okay. Think all the way through here, perfectly good. You're good. Okay. 
this is okay right here remember how I told you it was broken really far back but it's right. growing in normally so far so good so far so good so here's the left here's the right mm -hmm. it's kind of you'll see it on this view until it's sticking out of her mouth, I'm going to be worried about it. <laughs> well, we need to keep a watch on it, but yeah. here is actually a really good... So this is the one side here. That's already this, come out. Yep. Okay. And here's the other one right here. It's to right here is the end of it. So, so it's, if I move it's my cursor, a little bit. See how it's... But see how it's grown like a normal yeah, tooth? It's got the curvature correct, so... It does. And on the lateral view, let's where I am we have done these before you said on, on initially that you didn't see an odontoma doesn't would an odontoma show up that quickly oh yeah so I'm not if familiar it's there with it's there I'll show you what one looks wow, like so here just in developed just a right away if it's gonna develop it as the tooth is growing it's developing okay that's the end of the upper incisor on the right side okay And here's the edge of it on the left. So you've got the beginnings of a normal tooth growing. Good. Um, let me let me think about this. Hold on. Oh, I know who it is. All right, let me go show you one. show you one right. that I just did yesterday. A squirrel? Mm-hmm. Odentoma? Mm-hmm. And I'll show you how it's like... <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. No, you, there's no doubt when it's there kind of thing, you know? Yeah. So it's a lot different than a cavity where it takes a lot of time to develop and whatnot. But a lot different. Interesting. I'm not good with x-rays and I can see that. That's two of them superimposed, mm -hmm. but do you see how it's like yeah. no brainer that was when painful. it's developing? Here it is on this view here. You can see the left and the right. Yeah. I took the left, I took this big honker out over here. Wow. And then you can see that big sucker, but look on the... Oh, here it was. You could really see them well on that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And so here is the lower. <laughs> She's got a big chunk of lower that's just spiraling off of there. But do you see those big balls on the end of there? <laughs> it's hard to miss them. Right. And so a normal germinal bed, you see how yours, it's like smooth and curved around. I'll go back to it. Okay. But the end of the tooth comes and it just rounds off back here where the tooth grows from. Right. So when you're developing an odontoma, even a small one, you're going to see this, you know, kind of hypercalcified and misshapen stuff here. Right. Cool. I learned something new today. <laughs> it's really obvious when it's there. You're like, oh my God. Um, that was a rabbit. How did that rabbit get on there, I wonder? Those were rabbit teeth. Rotted in the jaw, horrifying. That, that itself, that the, the rabbit had rabbit teeth or rabbit teeth are in a squirrel? No, rabbit teeth in a rabbit. <laughs> okay. I don't know how it ended up on this patient's film, but right. anyway. Here we go, odontoma. And then, let me show you. Huh? You ready? Just let it in there. 
That was an effort. Mm -hmm. This is in a squirrel, from a northern squirrel. But do you see how this tooth would normally come back to here and round out right here? Yeah. It's odontoma central. And then these are the lowers. Cool. So the odontoma here is all the way back to here on that other jaw and superimposed here. Let me. You can see it sticking out right here on the lower. See how the tooth is here and it kind of curves around and then it has this big growth yeah. on the end of it. I had to take that one out. So is it technically a tumor? It's technically a benign tumor. Okay. This is when I very first started with that squirrel. He was having a lot of problems breathing. Yeah, I can see why. But he, if you could imagine, like it started right here with that little distorted little right. abnormality. And so it's when you have them even early on, they're going to start developing as the tooth grows. It's like so obvious when they have it. And so with yours, after seeing those, my mouse is being, it's misbehaving. <laughs> Battery might be low. Yeah, it probably is. That's usually what causes it. It's glitchy or slow. So did you take out her lower incisor all from the inside or did you have all to? All from the inside. Okay. I did not have to go to the outside. So see here how it's rounded yeah. and the other side is rounded. That's the difference. And so on your baby, let me go to my x-rays. Okay. Here's the lower jaw right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the tooth that I'm following here and it rounds out down here. So this is... This is the one that I had to take out. Right. Okay, so if we look right here, this is where it was growing through the bone. You see the bone where it, the bone should round right here, it was pushing through. From about right here to here, inside the mouth, you had an open view with this big nodule on it. That big nodule is right here. It's superimposed. Right. So I pulled these cheek teeth out, just literally plucked them out. And then what happened was you had an open wound right here on the whole inside. So I ended up, I think I cut the tooth right here in the jaw mm -hmm. and I pushed this piece out through the socket on right. the bottom. And then I was able to actually take this whole piece right here and just lift it out. I just took my little hook right here and loosened it up because this was all open. This was like a beautiful open window. How the heck she did that, I'll never know. My house is the same way, I can't leave the dishes. Ah, you can't see it good on that view. I have to do it right there. I did it this morning because they left a couple in there last night and I knew well, that just, that gives them more room. Yeah, this big nodule right here is what came out. Yeah, right? Wow. That was that big, so from like here all the way back to here it was open. And then just the hook of the tooth, I just took my hook, my metal hook and just loosened it up and popped it right out. You got the end of it, right? Yeah, I, you I got, saw that whole last piece. Yeah, I've got it in the container. So that's how I ended up taking the whole thing out. Even though she's been sore, her appetite's already improved. And oh, I would think so. She's about halfway healed. Yeah. And what's left to heal, the sutures actually end up causing like a reaction in the mouth. And they were already starting to buckle. They weren't holding the tissue together anymore. So I just snipped them out. So it's all covered up beautifully well okay. with tissue. And now it'll just finish healing. The mouth heals very quickly. So I ended up taking 
this is where it was growing on the outside. And that was that kind of nodule thing there. This mm -hmm. all came out together. Wow. So I only had to cut the tooth in one spot instead of two. Good. I was able to get it out in two pieces instead of three. So that's why you said it couldn't have gone more perfectly. Oh, it was like so perfect. <laughs> and I thought I was going to have to come in on the outside to get this out. Right. But I was able to just wiggle it right out. And I got right out to the very end of it. And then I had an opening from here all the way down to here inside the mouth. Like the tongue is literally like right here. So I, I just tied a suture back here. I went from side to side and then I just whip stitched it all the way down to the front with one continuous suture around it and then just tied it off and it brought all the tissue together and that was it. What causes, what was the reason for her tongue needing to stick out? So, Well, part of it is swelling, or? swelling because in order to get back here and work, the tongue's got to be packed off on the other side and pulled out of the way. Is that going to improve shortly? Then? Oh yeah, okay. it will. It'll come back. It's pictures, just... Did you take there's nothing you can do when it comes to having surgery, like yeah. back in here. But all of this was all soft tissue. Go mm. ahead. How many pictures did you take? Um, I, you don't even have to put them on there, Jesse, because we already had them. Um, all the vasculature and the nerves come in in the back right here mm. and in from the tongue back here. And so when that's tractioned and then I have to put stitches in it and I'm literally like pushing away the soft tissue from the tooth and the and the jawbone to get this thing out of there. Yeah. It, there's gonna be a little damage factor, but That's okay. it's temporary. It'll come back. It makes her look super cute. Yeah, she's, <laughs> all her pictures have her tongue sticking out. Well, so and keep adorable. in mind too, she doesn't have cheek teeth or anything on that side to hold it in, and the upper is gone, so. Yeah, I think you removed the upper molar too, so. She it only... may stick out a little bit, but functionally it shouldn't just like hang out, except for right after surgery. Yeah. Oh, you have no idea how tight that space was. Can you see how little her mouth is? Yeah. Can you imagine in there like working with tools and picking away all that little tiny bit of bone because I was refused to break this jaw. It was not going to break. I'm I didn't care what happened. It. it was not breaking. <laughs> and it did not break. I think when you approach them with that mindset, yeah. it goes well. But that was a monster of a surgery. And then her tongue is this fat thing back there. And so I had to really kind of move it off to the side. Plus I had to pack, you know, the back of her throat essentially with a big cotton plug. Because even in, with her intubated, I don't want anything to go down in there and go between right. the tube and the, you know, the little opening of the trachea and have aspiration in me. So I packed it all off. So her tongue had took a beating. Oh, yeah, she was obviously sore for a couple of days, but she's she's definitely. She looks awesome. She's, she's not getting hiding weight already. Yeah, I've seen her lunging around, and she's not too grumpy. Give her another week. Yeah. But these other teeth, I would not touch. Okay. Look, here's the ends of both. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm thinking of coming back in maybe like a month or so to see. Mm -hmm. Just react, right? Let's okay. take a look at it. But you can see right here, if you had an odontoma developing, it's like so obvious to well, see that's it. really good news. I and mean, that was the initial reason we came in here was the uppers. I know. And now the uppers... That was like the least of our worries. Went through hell and they're still I strong. I could not believe what was going on in the lower. I've never mm. seen ever a mass on the tooth like this in the middle of the tooth. Yeah, the length of the tooth. It was weird. I think it actually started growing from the apex back here and it just, I must have grown forward or something. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> but I'm glad it's out and the jaw is not broken. It's healing beautifully. This one, we need to keep a really, really close watch on it. Too. This is the lower left? The other lower or what? No, this is the where you're getting a regrowth of your, your upper. Okay. It's trying to grow in. We just got to wait and see what's going to happen with yeah. it. Within a month, it should be surfacing. Mm, it might take longer. We'll see. It, they go if pretty it's fast. Gonna. Yeah. Have you trimmed her uppers before? Yeah. I've had to. So they, you've seen them grow pretty quick. How the hell did she knock that tooth out? The uppers? Yeah, like um, how did she do that? I think that? she got her teeth caught on the underside of a critternation shelf. They have bars that are, they stick out a lot further than the 
exterior metal bar. Mm -hmm. I think she got her teeth stuck and then just fought with it to get loose and panicked. And, Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't I was there when it happened. I just saw the aftermath and her breathing blood. And Man, that one was out. crazy. I've not seen anything like that. But she looked.